Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's coverage as the Lady Comets play host to the North Miami Lady Warriors here at the Comet Creator. I'm Blair Zimmerman. Uh, I will be joined relatively shortly, I hope, by Gavin Hickel. Uh, Gavin was uh, just in a wrestling meet, and I believe that's getting finished up, and he's planning on coming up here and putting on the other headset. Until then, uh, you're stuck with me. And, of course, Autumn on the camera, so we appreciate her work. Uh, just finished up watching the uh, JV Comets uh, with a uh, very resounding victory over the uh, JV Warriors. And uh, hopefully uh, the Varsity Comets can put up a really good fight. Uh, John Harrell is predicting quite the one-sided matchup here tonight. We're going to have to see uh, what the Comets are able to do about that. So we still have uh, about three minutes until tip-off. So why don't you go ahead and uh, make sure you have your snacks and your drinks ready and join us back here. Uh, we're going to come back after these words from our sponsor here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here, F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free Checking Account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, just a few seconds here until everything gets underway. Unfortunately, I was informed that my co-commentator has fallen ill, so I uh, might be able to get Kagan Slocum up here on the other headset with me. We'll have to see how it goes. At this time, we'd like to have everyone rise, remove your hats, and join in as we honor America with the playing of our national anthem. Tonight, our national anthem will be performed by the Cast and Pep Band under the direction of Miss Olivia Bullard.
this year is having a teacher recognition, and we're going to do that real quickly tonight. Jazz, Jasmine Brusel. Um, well, welcome, Kagan. I know you weren't anticipating commentating basketball. I'm glad you could join us, though. Thank you. So, hey, uh, the second meet against Knox, how did the comments do on that? Uh, we lost. The score is 48 to 24. Oof. Yeah. Oof. So, uh, Knox is a, a pretty aggressive, very physical wrestling school, though. So, yeah, they are. And a lot of their wins also came off of forfeits since we're still a little under. We haven't had a full team since 2016, 2017. It's a uh, long stretch. I, mean, I know we're, of course, we're struggling with numbers in a lot of our sports. So, mm -hmm. <clears throat> Well, we are getting ready to get our starting lineups here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Castle High School for tonight's varsity basketball game between the North Miami Lady Warriors and your Castle Lady Comets. Let's meet the starting lineups. First for the visiting Lady Warriors. All right, and for the Warriors. Number 11, Bailey Kime. Number 12, Taylor Tenney. Number 21, Marianne Freeman. Number 31, number 31 Hannah Hall. Number 32, and number 32, Ellie Musselman. Comments number three, Aubrey Digg. Number 20, Maddie. Number 20, Maddie Smith. Number 21, number 21 Sophie, Sophie Jellison. Number 24, number 24 Emily Holt. And number 35, Jordan Klingler. Or, uh, Emily has just recently rejoined the team. Um, I know she was, uh, she had to make up those practices and stuff, and so uh, I think she was able to play in the tournament over the weekend. Yeah, so those were her so, first games. So I haven't had an opportunity to see Emily play since uh, last season. So. Yeah, I don't think I have either, but I love watching her play. Looks like Maddie Smith will be our tip-off. Huh, I'm used to seeing Jordan there in the center. Yeah. Maddie keeps growing, though. I suppose she does have the height advantage. Yeah. Maddie gets fingers on it, but sends it over to North Miami. And there's uh, number 11, Bailey Kime. Sends it to the left, so over to number 31, Hannah Hall. We're back up to the top for open a three-pointer. Three, and and it's drains in. it. Taylor Tenney wasting no time putting points on the board. Comets now struggling already against a full court press. Tried by a little floater pass. Kind of lucked out that the Lady Warriors knocked it out of bounds. Holt looking for the send in. Gonna send it across Smith. to Smith. Back to Holt. Holt heads left, sends it over to Jellison. Deg now over to Smith. And it's tipped out of bounds by North Miami. Lady Comets are going to have to be careful with these uh, sloppy panic passes because those will be picked off all night long. Jellison trying to send it down to the left post to Klingler. Seems that... Into Smith, Smith for two, a little too hard. And the Warriors with that rebound. Yeah, 
Down underneath, we got quadruple team there. Dang. Oh, and Aubrey dead goes for it. But. She had it, but then she got tripped. Yeah. And there's two points by number 11, Bailey Kime. Five nothing Warriors. Just over a minute gone in this game. It makes me wonder why they're doing a full court press so early. My guess would be at least get out to an early lead. Um, watching film, the, any any team that can watch cast and film, and it's guys or girls, yeah. we struggle against a full court press. So it's really good strategy to put one on the ladies, but it's hard to watch, that's for sure. Yeah. Number 31, Hannah Hall up at the volleyball line. Sends it down to Bailey Kime over here on the right. Kime's again drive towards the free throw line. Send it up. We're over on the left side now. Down to the corner. Shots off the mark there by number 32, Riley Musselman. Put back by Marianne Freeman is good. Dig to Holt. Holt picking it up. She's in trouble. And we got a timeout called by Coach Don Helmick. We're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. This is Comets Basketball on Casting TV, RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first time home buyers. And with our premier first time home buyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Lady Comments can take it down here and see if they can't get across half court this time. Goes for Maddie Smith, and Maddie Smith is able to get it to Jordan. Jordan takes an elbow. Can't draw the foul on that. I can't believe they didn't call a foul there. I think they called one for Maddie. It seemed like she took an elbow there too. Well, nothing going up on the board. Sophie looking to inbound it. She sends it to Klingler. Klingler in trouble. Sends it over to Holt. And we're back to Jellison. Just a bit Bad of a pass underneath. Too hard of a pass. Those last minute panic passes seem to be the downfall. The, yeah, and they're going to be. Uh, Lady Warriors really have the Comets number, though, with that pressure they're putting on. Over here on the right to Tenney. Tenney's going to drive in, float it down to the corner to uh, 21, gets knocked or uh, shut down. Tenney with a shot off the mark. Holt rebounds it. Once again, too far of a pass. Smith putting a little pressure on down here. Backs up past the half court line. Kime taking her time across the mid court. Over to Hall. Back to Kime. Sophie nearly able to get in on that pass. Not quite able. Emily's able to grab it from 21. Hold at three-point line. Cross court to Jellison. And Jellison for a long two. Good. Just a little too hard. And we're going to seems not quite wrap up down here. And we have a timeout called over here from the North Miami bench. We're going to step away for this word. Stay tuned. This is RTC TV4. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Seven nothing Warriors lead. Smart timeout called by Lady Warriors coach. That way they uh, maintain possession. Time across midcourt. 
Gonna drive in towards the paint, takes that jumper. And it's in. I would have called that a low percentage shot. Holt in trouble. Lobs it over to Jellison. Jellison drives towards the paint, loses control of the ball, out of bounds off Jellison. That's the third or fourth time someone's fallen right near that spot. First was Jordan, next was Aubrey. Extra glue down there. <laughs> All right, this looks like Hall at the volleyball line. Send it over to Freeman. Freeman back up to Tenney. Three-pointer by Hall off the mark. Degg's able to rebound it. Lobs it to Jordan. And we have a jump ball on our hands. No, we have a foul, I think. Oh. Foul was on number 20, Maddie Smith. Her first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Smith gonna have a sit. Got Lane Oliver coming in. Wait, no, Dig, Dig sitting down. Smith uh, switching out. Time of the volleyball line, sends it left, uh, right, my. Yeah, geez. Yep, it's gonna be one of those nights. Jellison couldn't quite get on the loose ball. Sticking all over Hall. Up on Tenney, they're gonna call a foul here. Just a little too close. Yeah, Sophie got away with, uh, got away with a couple of them. Three twenty-six left in the first. Nine-zero Warriors. All taking the ball out for North Miami. Sends it into Tenney. Back to Hall. When I was talking to somebody through the day today and they said that they have Hall off the mark there on that three-pointer. Put back, no good. And that would have been time, able to yeah. sink that one. Anyway, uh, evidently North Miami has a young lady who is, there we go, Jordan Klingler getting the comments on the board, who typically gets uh, double-digit scoring in, in an average game. I, I, they didn't know who it was. So I, I'm not sure who it is that we need to be watching, but I'm going to guess it's Bailey Kine. Man, two for Hannah Hall. Holt to Smith. Smith the volleyball line sends it over to Jellison. Jellison. <laughs> Jellison, four, two, off the mark. Time across midcourt. Over to Hall. Hall goes left. And Underneath to Freeman. She's gonna get two, go to the line for one. Foul was on number 24, Emily Holt. Her first, team third. And we have Olivia Boldry coming in. Freeman with the and one. Boulder into Jellison. Lane screams to be opened. Jellison across midcourt. And they're going to call an offensive foul, I think. Look at me being wrong. That's Hannah Hall with her first, team first. It seems that Boulder is open, but Emily goes for Klinger. North Miami getting in the middle of that. Tips off of Boulder's fingertips. North Miami gets possession. Shot off the mark for Freeman. Oh, never mind. Casting gets possession. Holt with a drive across midcourt. 
Crossover, goes down to the paint, tries to dump it down to... Uh, Ooh. That sounded like it had to hurt. Yeah, you don't need all the skin you got. Uh, I mean, I guess so, <laughs> but... <laughs> Foul there on Olivia Baldry, her first, team fourth. Floor burns don't feel nice. Hall bringing it across midcourt. Tenney, over to Hall. Hall for three, off the mark. Time with the put back, no good. That was actually Kime's first miss of the night. How many has she made? She's uh, put six points on the board for him. In the first quarter with already. Holt to Dag. Dag across the volleyball line, sends it down to the corner to Oliver. Oliver tries to send it back out of the corner and gets swatted out of bounds by North Miami. Holt looking for somebody to send it to. Lobs it over right into the waiting arms of... Uh, Number 12. Yeah, Taylor Tenney. Tenney for two. Off the mark. Dead goes in to try to rebound it. Goes out of bounds from her touch. Yeah, would, they would have had the put back right there in the paint, though. I think it was the right move. Into the paint, and Holt picking that pocket. Tries to go for Klinger, but... Can't quite get a hold of it. Hall going up for two. That was quite the form on that layup. <laughs> <laughs> Draws the foul there off Elaine of Oliver. Her first. Team fifth. Hall of the line for two. First shot with the lucky bounce. Second shot up, a lot nicer. Drops in like it's supposed to. Oh, cross midcourt. Loses control and it goes out of bounds. Gets her pocket picked. Thirty seconds left here in the first quarter. Oliver looking for that inbound. Sends it to Holt. Holt to Dag at the volleyball line. Into Klingler at the free throw line. Sends it to Boulder in the corner. Back to Dag on the right. She drives in the middle. Off the mark. 10 seconds left. Time across midcourt. Floats it to Freeman. Over to Hall, to Tenney. Tenney drives in, puts one up at the buzzer. It's no good. At the end of the first, North Miami Warriors 18, cast and comments too. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. And 
and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to get the second quarter underway here. Day at the volleyball line. Lady Comets with a 16-point deficit at the end of the first. We're up to Bouldry at the volleyball line. Over to Oliver. Oliver kicking it down to Klingler. We're going to have a jump ball here. North Miami gains possession. Time across midcourt. Down to Freeman. Freeman to Tenney. Oliver is persistent in defense. Yes, she's. Oh, that was Kime. I'm sorry. <laughs> and back to Freeman. Over to Hall. Freeman in the paint. I can't believe she made that. North Miami's backed off the pressure. Dag with a little bit of uh, go and stop over to Holt. Holt trying to uh, lob it down to Klingler in the corner. Looks Didn't like work. Maddie Smith will be going in for Bouldry. Holt trying to send it in to Dag. Swatted away. Time on the right, sends it back up to the top to Keita. Hall, Hall, or uh, Freeman, Freeman over to Hall. 31, 21, they're all the same, numbers are hard. That's why I don't do math. <laughs> Hall to Kime. Kime misses it. Pull up at a free throw line. Smith with that rebound. Gives it to Klinger and Klingler draws the foul on the way up. She'll go to the line for two. Foul was on number 11, Bailey Kime, her first, team second. Shots up, just a little too hard. Second shot up, oh, that one's good. And number 14, Kenzie Mullenkoff will be going in for Jordan. Ball into Hall. Hall back to Kime. Kime across midcourt, she's gonna go left. Dishes it down to Hall. Oh, man, she's staying in bounds. She's going to send it down to the paint. And we've got Timmy for two. Tenny, not Timmy. <laughs> Day, ooh. Day getting an elbow to the face. That foul is on Hannah Hall, her second. I think Aubrey's going to need to go see the chiropractor about getting that jaw put back after that ooh. hit. I'm going to send it over to Mollenkoff. Mollenkoff to Dag. To Smith. Smith to Holt in the corner. Holt for three. And just off the front of the rim. To Lane. And Lane is just unable to get it to the layup. She'll draw that foul, though. Go to the line for two. Foul is on number 12, Taylor Tenney. Her first. Team fourth. First shot up, just a little too hard. Second shot up, a little too hard again. Hall to Kime. Time across midcourt. She's gonna dish it to the left to Hall. Hall to Tenney. Tenney dropping the ball and just dish it over to Musselman. 
Musselman back to Tenney. Tenney to Hall. Hall driving towards the paint. Another layup. Just so much power on that, though. I thought that was going to be too hard. Holt trapped. Lobs it across to Molenkoff. Molenkoff nearly getting her pocket picked to Degg. Degg at the top of the key sends it over to the right to Holt. And Man. it seems like North Miami grabs possession of it. And misses the mark. Smith drives, but it's knocked out of bounds by number 31. Would that be Hall or uh, Freeman? Hall. Okay. Yeah, I did you dirty. I forgot to grab you a, uh, a, a roster. roster. Yeah. Now I'm just going by whoever's name is repeated the most. So. Dig. Puts up a shot and just gets tipped. What a lob over to Tinney. Makes it with the layup. Dig drives, but is met with three defenders. Loses control, and Hall goes up for the layup. She's going to get fouled by Strasser. Her first, team second, or sixth. Second, sixth, S. What are numbers? Numbers are hard. Yeah. I don't like them. Number 31, Hannah Hall at the line. First shot good. 100% free throw shooter so far tonight. Drains her fourth free throw for the night. Strauss her to Mullenkopf. Mm. Mullenkopf for a three. Off the mark. Mullenkopf to... Well, she's at the volleyball line. Time all over her, sends it to across Degg. to Dag. Back to Mullenkopf at the top of the key. Right side to Strasser. And Dag from the left elbow off the mark. Warriors with the rebound. Time to Hall. Hall to Musselman. Back to Hall, or no, that's Freeman in the paint. Off the mark. Tenney for two. Strasser takes it down the court and passes it to Degg. Degg's gonna go right. Tries to send it down to Oliver. Oh, looks like there is a. That'll be a jump ball. Comet should keep that. Jellison back in for the Comets. <clears throat> Dag looking for somebody to send it into. She's going to lob it back to Molenkoff. Must have been getting away with a little bit of a foul there. Molenkoff tries to stop and pivot, but she just goes a little too mm -hmm. far getting that travel. Foot just kept sliding. Yep. Kaim at the volleyball line. Backs up towards the center ring. Back at the volleyball line, she's gonna send it in to Freeman. Freeman to the left to Hall. Hall down to Tenney. Tenney for two. Layup. Dag across midcourt, sends it over to Molenkoff, back to Dag. Dag over to Jellison. Jellison in trouble at the left elbow. It's picked off. Tenney across midcourt now. At the volleyball line. Gives it to Hall. Freeman goes in for a screen. Musselman on the left. She's going to drive in towards the paint. And puts it up too hard. Comments with the rebound. Jellison sends it down to the post to Smith. Smith for two. Hall oh, coming across midcourt. Strasser meets her at the line. Send it down to the post. Kime for two. Too hard. Ah. 
And out of bounds, Lady Warriors. We got number 15, Shiloh Hunt back in. Hannah Hall gonna get a break. Just over 90 seconds left in the half. 32-5, Warriors lead. Day, get the volleyball line. Over to Molenkoff. Molenkoff to the corner, Strasser. Strasser for two, too hard. Foul on number 12, Taylor Tenney, her second. Team fifth. And it seems that Holt's going in for Degg. Jellison into Holt. Holt sends it to Molenkoff. Back to Holt for three. Just, just a little short. Just hits the edge of the rim. And that's a Comets timeout. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors here on Cast and TV on RTC TV4. At CoAlliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. CoAlliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact CoAlliance today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. 113 left in the half. Comets 5, Warriors 32, and it's looking more and more like that John Harrell prediction is going to be sadly very accurate tonight. Into Smith. Smith drawing the foul off of uh, Freeman. That'll be her first. Team sixth. Looks like Maddie Smith's going up for the free throw. She'll get two. One handed. Just a little short. The way she had her wrist in her back, I think that was strategic to check her posture as she went up on her toes. Oh. And just can't quite get the roll in that second yeah. shot. See, if I ever shot one-handed, it's because my brother specifies it and they give a pig. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Jellison into Holt. Holt. Oh. Just a little too hard on that. I was sure that was going in. Warriors with the rebound. I know I've missed some turnovers this quarter. Less than a minute left in the half. Time. Drive towards the paint, puts it up, no good. Holt we'll sends it down to Smith. Smith drawing the foul there. And she will get Shoot. Two that was, uh, yeah, number 11, Bailey Kime, her second. Team seventh, Smith of the line for two. Shots up just off the front of the rim. It's just interesting to see someone shoot one-handed because I feel like you need that other arm for like the support for like, the extra strength. Because if I feel like... And that I feel like if I'm shooting one handed, I'm going to shot put it. <laughs> I had a habit of just shooting way too hard anyway. Yeah, me too. And, and somehow. Put the ball I... through the backboard. Yeah. All right, Comet's putting on some pressure now. Kaima along the sideline. Gets across midcourt. Past Aww. the top of the key. What was the call on that? Looks like an offensive foul against Marianne Freeman. Yeah, I don't think they get the points for that. Her second, nope. Points no good. It's a team, uh, eight fouls for the team. Putting the Comets in single bonus. Under 30 seconds left in the half. North Miami pulling all pressure now. Holt across midcourt. She's going to go right, uh, right. What a block. Tries to send it up to Molenkoff. Goes out of bounds off of North Miami. 
Okay, so the B's under the scoreboard, are those for like free throws? Yes, so that tells us that at this point, any further fouls on the floor will give them one and one. Okay, I was always wondering how they determined that. <laughs> and, oh! Whoa. <laughs> pockets picked, pockets picked, and then a travel. North Miami's coach can't be excited about that, but with only five and a half seconds left in the half. And a 27 point deficit. You know, yeah, that, that's minor. <laughs> Molenkoff for three, actually two off the mark. An impressive and, catch by the referee on that ball. <laughs> and uh, that's gonna send us into the locker rooms uh, with uh, Warriors at 32, Comets at five. We're gonna step away for a few words from our sponsors. And I'm going to try to get some first half stats for you. Stay tuned. You're watching Lady Comets basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Whatever phone fits your style, RTC Fiber Communications can save you money when you switch to VoIP. VoIP is a phone service that leverages the power of the internet to save you money on your monthly phone bill. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer. Online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full-screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. All right, welcome back. Um, these are some ugly first half stats, Kagan. Um, so, uh, Lady Comets, 0 for 3, three point land. 2 for 13 inside the arc, 1 for 8 from the free throw line. Uh, have 6 total fouls. And. Uh, Nobody even with two fouls, so uh, looking pretty good. We've we've had uh, folks in foul trouble in the first half. I'm glad we're not seeing that. 21 turnovers in the first half. North Miami, uh, eight fouls, so they definitely uh, picked up the pace on the fouls. Five for five from the free throw line. And uh, most of those were from Hall? Uh, yes. Hall was four for four. And uh, Marianne Freeman put one in. 12 for 25 inside the arc. Um, and, and, you know, that's, they're only shooting about 50%, but they have almost as many makes as we have total attempts, and they have twice as many attempts as we do. Uh, it's one of those, you know, there's that old saying, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Mm -hmm. They are just putting more shots in the air, and uh, that's obvious on the scoreboard. And then in three-point land, uh, one for four. Um, and then I think I missed a couple of uh, missed rebounds, but they uh, almost half the number of turnovers. Uh, I counted them at 12 in the first half. And like I said, I may have missed a couple, but uh, just very obviously they are leading rebounds. They're, they're leading forced turnovers and just – putting more shots on goal. And uh, it's given them a 27 point advantage. Again, John Harrell was uh, predicting something in the neighborhood of 35 to 40 points. And so far we are on pace for that. So 
I don't know what Coach Helmick's going to have to say. I don't know if he's going to be able to uh, get them roused up, but they're going to have to have an amazing second half. Just over five minutes left in halftime here. Go ahead and refresh your snacks, refresh your beverage, and we'll see you back here in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Warriors Basketball on Caston TV on RTC TV4. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As that halftime timer winds down, the ladies are taking the court to start the second half action. Lady Warriors starting with possession the second half. We've got Hall out here, passing it off to Kime. Kime in the volleyball line sends it left back to Hall. Back up to the volleyball line to Tim Tinney. Not Timney. Musselman trapped by Klingler. Sends it down to Hall in the paint. And we got an open free throw here from Hall. It's off the mark. Open shot from the free throw line. That was not a free throw. Excuse me. You got to take me as I mean, not as I say. <laughs> it's late. Blair, it's like 8 o'clock. Kagan, I'm old. I have to have plenty of rest. Deg across the volleyball line. Back over to Jellison. Back to Deg in the right corner. And she seems stuck, but she goes to Klinger. Klingler for two, and it's good. <laughs> Comets drawing first blood this half. Kime at the volleyball line. Sends it right. Hall. Top of the key to Timmy. Timmy. Tinny. Tinny. You know, one day you'll say her name right. Yeah, you know. We're in the corner with Musselman. Back up to Tinny. Across the hall. To the left. To Kime for three. Off the mark. Put back is no good. Put back off the mark again. And Lady Comets with the rebound. Holt to Jellison. And out off of North Miami. Degas. Oh. Is that injury time? Yeah, we've got an official's timeout. Looks like she might have injured a finger. Ripped off a fingernail, maybe? That always feels good. Or, you know, ripping off a hangnail. Oh, yeah, okay. Have you ever seen the film Black Swan? All right, well, we're going to stop <laughs> with that line of conversation. Dag over to Holt. Left corner, Dag. Tries to send a baseline, no, no way there. Sends it to Holt at the top of the key. Hold over to Smith. We, now we've got it down at the post. Klingler gonna draw that foul. She'll go to the line for two. Foul was on Hall, I believe. Yes, her third. Team second this half. Free throw is good. And second free throw, nothing but net. Time, cross midcourt. Now the volleyball line. Hands it off to Tenney, over to Hall. Oh, Hall's going to drive towards baseline. Lane Oliver with the foul. It'll be her second. Team first. Straight at North Miami's feet. Tenney for two off the mark. And Holt drives down the court. 
Passes it to Degg. To Smith. Smith down to the baseline to Oliver. Back to Smith. Holt for three. Just a little too short. We've got a foul here. Foul is on Degg. Loose ball foul. Her first, team second. Time going down the court. Now the volleyball line, she's sending it to Hall on the left. Up to Tenney, back to Hall. Hall for three. Nothing, Nothing but, but net. Jinx. 35-9, Warriors. Emily Holt, cross midcourt. Over to Degg. Back to Holt there on the left. Dribble up to the volleyball line. Smith on the right. Over to Oliver on the right. We're going to send it down to, to the post Klinger, to Klingler. Klinger posts up and makes a layup. Comets hit double digits now. Kime across midcourt. Over to Tenney. Cross court pass to Hall. Down to the post to Freeman, back up to the volley, or the free throw line to Tenney. She's off the mark. Comets for the rebound. Emily Holt gets it to Lane. Oliver's gonna draw the foul on her way up. She'll go to the line for two. Foul was on number 21, Marianne Freeman, her third, team third. A little short there for Oliver. And we have Molly Freeman coming in. Second shot up, just a little too hard on that one. North Miami with the rebound. Time, cross the timeline. Gotta get that one in there, drives the girls crazy. <laughs> Over to Hall. Who has the ball? Okay. It was a little. <laughs> <laughs> kind of blended in with that red uniform. North Miami slowing it down just a little bit now. Swatted out of bounds by Jordan Klingler. Ball into Tenney. Ball for three. What a shot. It rains it. Those side shots are the most impressive, especially at the three-point range. Yeah. I remember once. Hope for three. Off the front of the rim. And Jordan posts up, but not able to get that layup. North Miami with the rebound. Time. Cross 10-second line. Dig all over. Hall in the corner, back to Kime. I'm gonna hold it for a second. And gonna draw the foul there off Dig. Is that her second or third? Her second. Foul? Her second. Team third. Emma K in. Aubrey Degg gonna have a break. Hall dribbles the ball off her own feet. Oh no, I guess it was off of Holt's feet. Ball deep in the backcourt to Kime. She's gonna come across midcourt. Kick it over to Hall at the volleyball line in the corner. And we've got a 30 second timeout called by North Miami. We're gonna take this opportunity to step away for this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4.
RTC Fiber Communications is proud to announce the new RTC TV4 family of networks. Now you can watch nine local video channels dedicated to covering the events that are important to you from anywhere in the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can watch for free. Just download the mobile app, our new Roku channel, or online at www.rtctv4.com. The RTC TV4 family of networks. Start watching today. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Off of that North Miami timeout, ball in the backcourt to Kime. 2.23 left in the quarter. North Miami 38, cast in 11. Hall dribbling down towards the paint. Going to kick it back up to Kime. Over to the corner to Tenney. Down into the paint to uh, Freeman. That's the name I'm looking for. <laughs> and Musselman for two off the mark. Holt drives down the court. Comments with that rebound. And oh, she from the paint, a little too much. Knocked out by North Miami. Jellison looking to send it in. Sends it down to the post to Smith. Shot no good. What a foul from Lane Oliver that has to be maybe her third. It's her third. Yep. Team fourth. Time bringing it down court. Makes her way across mid court over to Tinney. Back to Musselman Tenney. back to Tinney. Hall in the corner sends it to Freeman. Freeman for two. A little run in with teammates right there. I think Holt panicked, thought it was uh, the other team. Holt over to Jellison. Jellison sends it down to the post to Smith. Smith can't quite get the shot off. Knocked out of bounds by Oliver. With North Miami's pressure, it sort of reminds me, I can't remember the exact team, but I was watching the Notre Dame women's play uh -huh. against maybe Tennessee. And Musselman for an open two. Tennessee, I think, has the tallest women's team in like history. Yeah. And so Notre Dame was just unable to get anything off because they had these six five women just guarding them and pressuring them like crazy. And like you have a young team with Notre Dame, it's about it's mostly freshmen, scholarship kids. Yeah. And so this, it, I don't know, it just sort of reminded me of like that because like they're pressuring so well, and we're just unable to get anything off. Less than a minute left in the third. North Miami with a 31 point lead. Ball into Freeman. They send it over to Hall. Hall to Tenney. To Kime. Kime at the volleyball line. You drive towards the paint. Nearly loses it. Sends it back out to Hall. And foul there on number 20, Maddie Smith, her second, team fifth. Nineteen seconds left in the quarter. I'm content to let the clock burn down. Up at center ring. And she's gonna pick up a foul off of Oliver. That's Oliver's fourth. That was probably team sixth. Yeah, that was probably intentional on Kimes part, knowing that if she kept stalling, Oliver's gonna go in somehow. Yeah, Lane definitely plays the sport with the attitude of you got five fouls, you might as well use them. It's like a little foul bank. And we had a shove there by uh, 31, Hannah Hall. She'll pick up her fourth foul. Team fourth. 6.4 in the quarter. Ball into Molenkoff. Back to Holt. Down to the corner to K. Just a little off the mark on that three. And we'll go into the fourth quarter. Warriors 42, Comets 11. We'll be back after this word here on RTC TV4.
The RTC TV4 family of networks allows you to watch nine local television channels dedicated to coverage of our schools and our communities directly on your mobile device through our new app. Just look up RTC TV4 at the App Store or the Google Play Store. There is no cost to download the app or cost to view the live channels. With a paid subscription, you can also view any of our past videos on demand whenever you want. Download the app today and start watching. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Eight minutes left here in regulation. Uh, Comet's currently looking at a 31-point deficit. But that said, they definitely won that quarter. They only allowed uh, North Miami to pick up a handful of points. Um, wait, no, I think my math is wrong. Doesn't matter. Still staring down the barrel of a 31-point deficit. I mean, they were able to keep North Miami at bay. The first quarter, what, North Miami was up by 16, 17 points? Right, and then they went into the locker room with 27-point lead. And they only had them score 10. So, yes, the numbers are big, but it's still an improvement. And it looks like Kaim will have one free throw. Looks like that foul there was an Aubrey Dagg. I'm mistaken. Two free throws. Now, I, I'm, I'm supposed to have a monopoly on being that wrong, by the way. All right, Kaim misses one, makes one. Sorry, I just, I, I do not know basketball for the life of me. Unfortunately, I know football better than I know basketball. Molenkoff for three, drains it. What a three. Time in the center ring and send it over to Hall on the left. Tenny on the right. K gets screened by Hall. Tenny back at the volleyball, or not Tenny, Hall. <laughs> you know what, Blair? We should start using those, like, you know how they have five fouls? You only get five mistakes. Oh, man. Yeah, then you're fired. Hall up at the left elbow, off the mark. And Hall is able to rebound it. Now there's a foul there on Shiloh Hunt, her first. Team fifth. <laughs> I don't know why the officials were going to give him the ball at half court. I know, I was confused about that. I was like, I mean, it was the cast in possession, so they couldn't be doing free throws. Holt across to Molenkov. Molenkov for a long two off the mark. North Miami with the rebound. Time across midcourt. Strasser right there to meet her. Send it down to Freeman. Back to Kime. And we're going to have Emily Holt pick up a foul. That's her second. Team eighth. Kime going to the line for one and one. Ah. Musselman coming back in for North Miami. First shot up and good. Second 
second shot up. Just a little too hard. Comments with the rebound. Well, I said that. Spoke too soon. No, Comments do maintain possession there. Holt across midcourt. She's going to drive left, dump it off to Kay. Goes baseline. What Two a Two points shot. for Holt. Time, cross midcourt. Over to Hall on the right. Oliver sticking tight. He's going to send it to Tinney. Inside to Freeman. Freeman from the paint, off the mark. Kenzie Molenkoff gets the rebound. Gets away with a little shuffle step there. Holt tries to get it to Oliver, but it seems that Freeman was able to nab it before Oliver was. Time cross midcourt. Hall couldn't quite post up for that three. She'll drive in. Dumps it out to Musselman. Musselman for two. Off the mark. Time with uh, an air ball there. Holt drives paint. Puts it up. Floats it in. Time drives right. Sends over to Hall. Oliver is going to pick up her fifth foul. She'll sit down. <laughs> She's like, boy, that wasn't even a good foul. You can see it on her face. And we've got Bailey Harness going in. Shots up, it's good. Hall still shooting 100% from the free throw line tonight. Impressive. Maintains that record. Net barely moved on that one. And how many free throws has she had? Uh, She has taken six. So she oh. has a... Six for six record. We've got a full timeout here. We're going to step away for this word from our sponsors here on RTC TV4. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Wanna know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. And welcome back. Uh, Harness getting the ball picked off underneath. And uh, that catches us back up as Kime comes across midcourt. Down to Hall. Cross the court to Kime. 4 2. And uh, that breaks a six attempt scoring drought there for Kime. Kay to Monkoff. Monkoff dishes it to Williamson. Williamson up to Kay. Uh, yeah, Kay. Kay to Strasser. There's a little too much for Monkoff to grab. Uh, tipped by Hannah Hall. That makes sense. Three forty-eight left. 
Harness posts up, fakes it. Gonna go ahead and dribble. Sends it over to K. K for three from the top of the key. Off the mark. North Miami rebound. It's just unfortunate. Every time they shoot for the threes, it seems to go just a little yeah, more than expected. It's It hasn't been bad shots. It's just been a little off. Oh, off of Williamson's fingers. That now, should... Unfortunately, at the end of the night, it doesn't matter if they're all air balls or if they're near misses. A miss doesn't put points on the board. Yeah. Strasser across midcourt. Okay, to Williamson. Strasser. Harness. Goes baseline, kicks it back out to K. That was a, probably not the best place to stop right there. Williamson, Williamson for three. What? Rains it. Shot. Nothing but net. It looks to me now I'm thinking about it, this is a pretty young starting, not starting five, but five yep. on the court. Yes, absolutely. Just freshman and sophomore right here. Hall going to take it into the paint, puts it up off the mark. What's good about this lineup too is that it seems like they're holding off North Miami on their own too. Like yeah. North Miami hasn't put any of their young people in either. Fouls on number 14, Kinsey Molenkoff. This late in the game, that was her first. Freeman in the line for two. Shots up. It's good. We got Bouldery back in. Freeman with her second. It's up. It's good. She is also shooting 100% this evening. That looks to be a timeout. Yep, we're going to step away from this word here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. There's been a lot of talk lately about net neutrality. At RTC, our customers receive the full and open internet and nothing less. We are not the gatekeeper, toll operator, or curator. A free and open internet has been the single biggest driver of innovation over the last generation, and we want that engine of innovation to live on in our customers. If you ever have a question about your internet service, give RTC a call. We are here for you. Neighbors help each other. It's how our community works. And it's how we do business at RTC. We know you count on us for fiber internet, TV, and phone service backed by friendly local support. Your hard-earned dollars stay right here as we invest in our community, our people, and smart technology. RTC Fiber Communications. We're your hometown communications provider working hard to be a good neighbor. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Just before the break ended, Emma K for three. We got Kaim across midcourt now. She's going to go right. Tinny screens for Kaim. And Freeman's able to get the layup. Strasser across midcourt. Daniel Williamson fakes the three. Just unable to get it to Bouldry. But Williamson's able to steal it. Oh, oh, and charge on Williamson. Her first. <laughs> Strasser meets Kaim at the midcourt line. Sends it over to Timmy. Tinny <laughs> did it again. One day. Figured they were going to call it over the back there. Is that on Williamson? 33, Abby Williamson, her second.
Freeman the line for two. First one off the mark. Second shot up and good. Williamson, right corner. Tries to send it to Sarver, no good. And we're gonna have an over and back. Ball into Kime in the backcourt. 67 seconds remain. Time to haul. She's gonna float it down to Freeman. Freeman for two. Strasser across midcourt. Over to Williamson. Williamson for three. And she's gonna pick up the foul. She'll go to the line for three. Foul was on number 21, Marianne Freeman, her fourth. Her fifth. I missed one. Her fifth. She'll she'll sit down. And we've got. It says Joey Whitmire. I wonder if that's supposed to be Joy. Might have been a typo. I don't know. Whitmire in. <laughs> First shot's good for Williamson. Second shot, good. Wow. The net didn't even move. Oh, third one just a little hard. Sarver with that rebound. Can't quite keep a hold of it. Time to come up to midcourt. Work on running down the clock. Over to Tenney. To Hall. Back to Tenney. Back to Kime. 25 seconds left. Tenney. At the volleyball line. Mid uh, midcourt now. Over to Hall. Hall to Kime. 12 seconds. I don't even know if they're going to try for a final shot. They're just going to work on maintaining possession. I think Kime will pull something. She might. One, and that's the ball game. Final score here tonight, Comets 26, Warriors 55. We're gonna come back after these words uh, with some stats for you guys, stay tuned. This has been Comets and Warriors basketball on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Tippy's Pizza in Winnemac is your local stop for fresh out of the oven pizza and ice cold drinks. Whether you're just stopping by for a drink or bringing the whole family in for dinner, Tippy's Pizza is the place to go where the drinks flow as smoothly as the river. The Winning Edge is your local provider for all your school athletic needs. From providing customizable sportswear to engraving trophies, the Winning Edge strives to help teams find their edge on the playing field. Visit the Winning Edge today. Locally owned and operated, Mike's Trash LLC in Rochester is your local service for all your trash removal needs. Whether you're a big business or a local resident, Mike's Trash LLC will be sure to take care of all your waste removal needs. Contact Mike's Trash LLC today. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. 
Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Let RTC TV4 highlight your business or service in our local sports coverage. Through our platform, you have the option to use a 30-second commercial that you already have, or you can have us make a 15-second logo sponsorship for you. With eight local schools in our partnership, we're sure you'll reach your intended audience. Sponsor with RTC TV4 today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, if you missed it, uh, it was quite the uh, quite the game there, especially in the second half. Um, Lady Warriors 55, Lady Comets 26. Uh, the Comets did beat the forecasted spread. That was good. Um, however, okay, final stats. Uh, Lady Comets three for ten behind the arc. Six for 23. In uh, inside the arc, I mean that's 24% shot record. That's mm. that's rough. 33% from the free throw line. Five for 15 into the night with 18 fouls. Lane Oliver did foul out. Uh, about 35 turnovers on the night. Uh, Lady Warriors, three for seven from behind the arc, shooting about 50%. Uh, 16 for 42 inside the arc. Um, so. Their record did slip. Their shot record slipped there in the second half. Uh, still, you know, quite a few more uh, makes. And uh, 12 for 15 from the free throw line, which is kind of what you'd expect for free throw stats. Let's, let's be honest. Uh, 14 fouls for the night. Uh, they did have Marianne Freeman foul out. Uh, final count for the night on turnovers was about 20. So, uh Honestly, Lady Warriors just dominant across the board and uh, finished the night with the 29-point uh, victory, 29-point lead on that victory. So, uh, well, Kagan, thanks for joining me. I know that uh, basketball is not your favorite sport to commentate. I really appreciate you being up here and having somebody to talk to. Otherwise, I'm just talking to myself and the good folks at home. Yeah, that's weird, Blair. Yeah, it all sounds the same, though. They don't talk back. <laughs> well, when they start talking back, that's when they make me take more medicine. Right. Anyway, just playing f people. Thank you for joining us. We had we had Autumn Garling on the camera tonight, and uh, you were watching Comets basketball here on RTC TV4. Tune in to well, no, I was going to say tomorrow night. That wouldn't have been accurate. Uh, we do have the uh, Caston high school Christmas music program tomorrow evening. You can join us here. Uh, we will have that uh, recorded and up online eventually. Um, Saturday morning though, Saturday morning at 9 o'clock, we will have the Super 6 wrestling tournament. And then Saturday evening, I believe it's an 8 o'clock tip-off, we will once again have some uh, Lady Comets basketball. So hope you'll join us for that. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. And uh, this has been Casting TV on RTC TV4.